Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Katie, and I am finally doing the video that I was asked about a long time ago, it's been a couple months, about showing off all my ad icons. So it is not a super long video. I kind of, like you can see, I have new shelves back here with a lot of my ad icons, and I didn't have space to show all of them. I don't know if you guys can see that, like, uh, like I, well, I, like I have a few of these Polly the Pigeons, you'll hear about that in a minute. Uh, but I have a few of those, but I don't, I'm only showing off one. The other ones are behind other stuff. Uh, but yeah, so I'm only showing off, like, the exclusive ones, if there's two of them. So, uh, like a good example is Smoke of the Bear. There's three different versions. I'm only showing off the Flock Hot Topic one, because that's the only one that's out. Uh, the regular one's in the back. That's, yeah, the regular one's in the back, back there. So, you know, he's back there. So I have him. Uh, but these are four of my grails, I guess. Um, so I keep, since I redid my shelves, I keep my more expensive pops in a little bit of a safer place, just in case. So like you can see, I have Louie Blue Raspberry, which has jumped up in price significantly. Um, it's, it's just gone crazy. I think it last I saw was at like 370. So that's just crazy to me. I finally did put it in a hard stack, which is good news. Um, Cause he was just in a little soft protector before. So I had to put him in a hard stack. Uh, then we have Metallic Toucan Sam. You guys know the story about that one. I've said it a million times. I won't bore you with it again. Um, but yeah, so Metallic Toucan Sam. I really, I really like this one. And I saw the commercial yesterday. So I don't really watch a lot. I mean, I watch a lot of like Netflix and stuff like that. But I was watching Hulu, and so I saw a commercial for Fruit Loops, and they've completely redesigned Toucan Sam, and he's, he's not in a good way. Like you know the whole adage of "it ain't broke, don't fix it." It wasn't broken, so and they just ruined. It does not look good. I'm not a fan of the new Toucan Sam. Uh, but then we have the Hollywood exclusive, the Funko Hollywood exclusive, Bob's Big Boy. So you guys know the story, I had somebody that was able to pick all these, the Funko Hollywood uh, pops up for me. You'll see a couple of the other ones, the Chester Cheetah and Tony the Tiger. You'll see those in a, in a few. Um, and they have a new variant of Bob Bi of uh, Big Boy. So I think it's number 94, 97, 97 I think is the number. So it's a new mold, it's, this one is him holding the burger. So you guys can see that holding the burger with the sunglasses. The new mold is just him with the sunglasses, so he's not holding a burger. If anybody wants to hook me up with that one, I would greatly appreciate it. You know, I love my ad icons. Um, but I'm not gonna make it to Funko Hollywood anytime soon, so if I don't, nobody helps me, I'm not gonna get it. Um, and then last but not least on this table, we have the Flocked Trix Rabbit. Uh, so this one is, you know, this was probably my first a uh, big hit out of a mystery box. And honestly, one of the few, I haven't gotten a lot of good hits out of mystery boxes in a while. Um, like like price-wise, like we had Django Fett a little bit ago, which was in, like personally a good hit because I really wanted it. Um, but like money-wise, price-wise, value-wise, uh, I've had Trick's Rabbit and Steamboat Willie. Those are the, the two biggest that I've pulled. So don't buy mystery boxes if you can't lose money, just saying. Um, but yeah, so these are my more expensive pops. Like you can see, I do have some of the 10 inch pops and I did get Tony the Tiger in today. So I'm so excited I got the 10 inch Tony the Tiger in. You'll see him in a few. Really happy to add him to the collection. Now I'm just waiting on the 10 inch pops big boy. He's coming in soon and I'll have all of them. All of the, all of the ad icon 10 inch pops. Uh, but anyways guys, that is it for the grails. And now we will show you what's going on behind the shelf. Behind the shelf, behind me on the shelf. Whatever, let's just go to it. All right, so first on the shelf, we have some soda and pop keychain ad icons. So we have, and I know it's hard to see the ones in the back, but we have the common and the chase of the Count Chocula soda figures. Then we have the common and the chase of the Frankenberry. And then common and chase of Yummy Mummy. I have the common and chase of all the soda figures, except for Batman, which he's not an ad icon, so we won't worry about him. Uh, but then I have the common and chase of Fruit Brute. 
And then obviously I have the pop keychain of Colonel Sanders on the right. And then I have the pop keychains of Trix Rabbit and Toucan Sam. All right, and then on the next shelf, we have, again, a few more soda figures. We have the Common and the Chase of the Bob's Big Boy. Uh, we have Batman, the ECCC Batman. You guys know I have trouble saying that. Uh, not an ad icon, but he's still in the shop because he's a soda figure. And then I count Freddy Funko as an ad icon. I don't know if anybody else does, but I do. So we have the Common and Chase of the Freddy Funko soda figures. And then the last two of the ad icon pop keychains of Lucky the Leprechaun and Tony the Tiger. All right, so now we're getting to the actual pops. So obviously we have the giant 10 inch Frankenberry, not a giant, but you know, the 10 inch Frankenberry from the uh, Cyber Monday bundle. Uh, then we have a two different flocked bullseyes. So we have the one with the red collar and then the one with the gold collar that was a San Diego Comic Con debut. So happy to have those two. I love Target. Uh, speaking of Target, then we have the Noid, the glow in the dark. That was the pop and tea combo. Super cool pop. Uh, and then we have, uh, underneath that, then we have Polly the Pigeon, the uh, New York Comic Con exclusive. I also have the red jersey and the black jersey, but I didn't have a ton of space on these shelves, so I stuck with one. So I just picked the one in the striped jersey. Uh, then we have Bob's Big Boy, the 20th Funiversary, I think is what they called it. Uh, and then we have Dig'em Frog underneath Bob's Big Boy. All right, on the next shelf, we have a few cereal ad icons. We have Frankenberry and Boo Berry. Uh, then we have Captain, Captain Crunch. Then we have the Kool-Aid Man, because you gotta have the Kool-Aid Man. Uh, and then we have the Green Giant ad icons. We have Green Giant himself and Sprout. And then we have the 10 inch Captain Crunch and he's hanging out and chilling with his uh, Pocket Pop keychain, Captain Crunch. All right, on the next shelf, we have our 10 inch Count Chocula, continuing with the 10 inch pops. Here we, uh, then we have a few Otter Pops. So we have Poncho Punch, Alexander Grape, Strawberry Shortcake, Sir Isaac Lime, and Little Orphan Orange. You guys already saw Louis Blue Raspberry at the beginning of this video. I keep my grails in a different spot, so you only get the five on the shelf. Uh, and then you have the Toucan, the San Diego Comic Con uh, mascot, ad icon. So he was exclusive. I have the one that was exclusive to the con, so I have the con sticker. They didn't uh, have one that was shared with the Funko Shop, but, you know, I had to have the con sticker for this one. All right, now we're getting into some of my favorites. So this is not one of my favorites, Charlie the Tuna. I do love him, I think he looks cool. I do not like tuna. Uh, my fiance likes tuna, so that was probably why I got this one. Uh, but Milton the Toaster, you guys know I love my Pop-Tarts. Had one this morning for breakfast, so I had to have that one. Uh, then we have Fanta the Clown. I do, I still have not tried Fanta, I need to do that. Uh, and then we have the Flocked Coca-Cola Bear. Again, this is one that, you know, I have the Flocked and I have the common, so the non-flocked, but, you know, I only have a certain amount of space, so I'm just, I'm just doing, uh, mostly I'm doing one, uh, one pop out per, you know, pop, so if there's two different versions, I usually just keep one out. Um, and then we have the Funko Shop exclusive Mr. Owl, which has shot up in price, I do not know what that's about, still a super cool pop, so glad I picked it up. And then we have the Funko Hollywood exclusive Tony the Tiger, which again, you know, so happy that someone was able to help me out with that pop. And then we have our 10 inch Coca-Cola bear. All right, two more shelves guys, we're almost done. All right, so here we have the 10 inch Tony the Tiger, which, you know, like I said in the beginning, just got in today. So happy to add that one to the collection. Uh, then we have Mimic the Monkey, the fall convention exclusive that was shared with the Funko Shop. Then we have the Santa Pillsbury Doughboy from Cyber Monday Bundle. Then we have the scented, the, I believe it's Grape Scented Icy Polar Bear with the Flocked Energizer Bunny underneath him. Then we have the Flocked Smoky Bear, the Hot Topic exclusive. And then we have the Funko Hollywood exclusive Chester Cheetah holding the bag of Cheetos. All right, so this is it, guys. We made it to the last shelf. Uh, again, you know, I limited the number of pops that I had on the shelf, and you guys can probably see some of them in the background at each of the 10-inch pops. 
Uh, but here we have Lil Sweet, the Dr. Pepper exclusive. Then we have the Diamond Edition Morton Saw Girl. That was a box lunch exclusive. We have the Emerald City Comic Con, the shared exclusive with the Funko Shop, the Pez Boy Fireman. Then we have the Be Mine Pillsbury Doughboy, so the Valentine's Pillsbury Doughboy. And then next we have the Easter Pillsbury Doughboy, the one holding the Easter basket and the Easter egg. And then we have the Flock Woodsy Owl. And then next to that, the 10 inch Kool-Aid Man. So that's it guys, we made it to the end. All right, well, like I said, a couple seconds ago, we made it to the end. You guys have seen all the, most of the ad icons that are on the shelves. But like I said, my boy Freddy Funko, I, th I think of him as an ad icon, right? So I pulled out a few of my Freddy Funko Pops. Uh, so this first one I have is the HQ exclusive. So this is at the Everett Washington store. Uh, you can't buy it online. Uh, I mean, you can buy it on like eBay and Mercari and stuff like that, but uh, this is one that I picked up when I went to visit uh, Funko HQ uh, last year. I think I went in October. Um, but yeah, super cool pop. I had to get this one to kind of commemorate my trip. So if you guys ever make it up to the Seattle area, it's only like a 30 minute drive from Seattle. So go check out Funko HQ, totally worth it. So check it out. And you know, you could buy your Freddy Funko if they still have them. All right, this next one is Hollywood Freddy. So this was the Hollywood Funko exclusive of Freddy and the tux and the sunglasses holding the star, so the Hollywood Walk of Fame star. Again, goes along with all the other Funko Hollywood pops I got. Had somebody help me out getting them. Uh, so this is that one. This is the uh, Officer Freddy from New York Comic Con. So I, this is a shared exclusive with the Funko Shop. Um, yeah, I just, I, I like Freddy Funko. He's just so cool. It, it's weird. But I do like Freddy Funko and I, I like having these cool pops. Uh, so I'm really happy about this one. So this is Officer Freddy. Um, yeah, you know, not much to say about that one. This one is, so this one I actually bought offline. This is a Make-A-Wish uh, Freddy. Uh, so this one, they only made 5,000 pieces and I believe all the proceeds went to Make-A-Wish Foundation. Uh, I did buy this online. I think I paid 20, $25 for it. Um, but I just, I liked like his little, like a superhero outfit is kind of metallic and just, it's a Make-A-Wish pop. So I'm just holding on to it and we'll see what happens with it. But it's already gone up like 10 bucks. I think it's like 35 bucks now. Uh, so yeah, not a bad investment. Maybe eventually you know, it'll be a grill maybe. But yeah, that's, that's my ad icon video guys. Um, not as long as I expected, mostly because I didn't like show off each individual one. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know in the comments below which ad icon is your favorite, or if you can, do you consider Freddy Funko an ad icon? Let me know below. And which ad icon I need to add to my collection next? Because I'm always on the lookout. I know I need to add the the um, the regular Count Chocula to go with. Uh, to go with Frankenberry and Blueberry over here. I need to add that one. And they need to make a 10-inch Blueberry. Like, what's the hold up here? So, you know, that needs to happen. And, you know, I'm OCD, so I gotta have, you know, a little bit of equal equal space happening over here. Oh, well. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, if you like this video, if you like the idea of me showing off a few more pops. Like, I got all my Marvel stuff behind uh, back there, behind you. It's all behind you. It's all back there. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Uh, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I post more videos. And don't forget to check out uh, my Patreon page link below. You could have pops from my personal collection sent to you every month and, you know, see some little bit of different posts uh, on there. So check it out, link below, and I will see you guys later.